Hi students, <coughs> welcome to uh, my session of physics. Now, in this video, I would like to talk, uh, give some hints on how to make your preparation strategies for this coming up EST exam, which is scheduled on 24th of this month. That is academic year 21-22, P1 semester 2, EST preparation strategy. And this is purely based for your examination way, how, how to prepare for your exam. Accordingly, I don't want to prolong much in this video because you will be busy in making out your own uh, preparation way. So I just want to cut short the things in a quicker manner. So just, just go through this video for a while before making your preparation. It is something like this. First of all, our EST question number consists of how many marks? Total it is for 60 marks, of which 30 are meant for MCQ questions. It is purely MCQ only this time. That is, no fill in the blanks, no match the following. Only with that, out of 30 by 30, you are going to get MCQ questions with four options. We need to choose the best one. And 30 marks are meant for descriptive. We have to write three answers out of six questions given to you. And uh, the syllabus what we have is that it is from 7.5 to 14th chapter, the end of 14th chapter. And we are following this 30% reduction syllabus also. This you might be knowing how what is what the content not there in each of the chapter. So if it is not there, I can provide you that link also in this video. You can check out the syllabus part, how much it is it, this 30% uh, reduced syllabus part. Now, uh, how many chapters we have all together? We are getting seven and a half chapters from this. From eight to four, it is seven chapters and seven point five system of particles of the chapter. These are the chapters that I mentioned here. System of particles, SHM, gravitation, mechanical properties. Now the important point, how to make preparation strategy is that you should have an idea like each chapter, what is the weightage of each of the chapter. We don't have any specified blueprint for our exams as of now in RGKT, but we will make it by the next academic year. This year we could not make it because we have this concept of 30% reduction syllabus. Once the syllabus is 100%, we can make like equal weight, how much weightage is to be given for each of the chapter. Blueprint is that which shows you the exact weightage of each of the chapters. So we don't, we don't have any specified blueprint now because of this factor accordingly. But you can now assess some kind of a uh, mechanism like this. After 30% of the syllabus, we have uh, seven and a half chapters which are meant to be given for 60 marks. Or each chapter, if you take 10 marks as a chapter of 12, it is now going to have how much? Seven and a half minutes, like it is 75 marks. Each chapter if you take 10 marks. But we cannot get said some some chapters will be giving you seven marks, some chapters will be giving you eight marks, some will be giving you nine marks, some maximum of ten marks from each chapter. And accordingly, if you go in that way, you are going to get what what is that we are going to get? We are going to get <coughs> how much we means we actually are following the concept of equal weightage for all the chapters. And depending upon the content present in the chapter, a bit more towards the marks more or towards the marks less. Accordingly, you can now take it in this way that for this year. It is that each of the chapter will give you a minimum of 7 marks and a maximum of 10 marks. Accordingly, all, the, all these chapters we have in, in this, the way, uh, important point is how to prepare for these two parts, how to prepare MCQ and how to prepare descriptive part. We don't have any specified uh, condition that you have to follow this book to score good marks and all. The reference book, what we guide for, what we suggest for every student is that you can follow HCR book because concepts of that in that book are explained thoroughly and detailedly and you can once you get the concept analysis you can understand how to apply that to any kind of a situation so hc verbo book is highly recommended for your concept wise learning purpose and how you are solving mcq purely depend upon depends upon your practice the more you practice the more easier it becomes so accordingly to make this mcq if you don't have HC Verbo book as of now and within two or three days, if you cannot buy that one, you can find some, I mean, uh, PDFs in, I mean, if I find I'm with me, I'll also provide you that link. Uh, I don't know whether we have copyright issues with PDFs and all. If it is there, I cannot, I may not be able to provide that. Yes, I'll try that. But if you don't have HC Verbo book, the best thing, the least or the best thing what you can do is that for from each of these chapters, at the end, you will find some key points and summary points which gives you all the formulas what are there in that chapter. A student must be familiar with all of those formulas from each of the chapter. And 99%, 90% most of our questions are based on those formulas only. Any question what you get in the exam for physics, 
will never deviate from the concept what is present in Telugu Academy textbook. We will not give any other question from taken, maybe question may be taken from any other reference books, but that concept will be definitely present in our um, textbook. Accordingly, if you are familiar with all the key points and some important summary formulas from the textbook, and once you write some formula, you should know each and every term in that formula. Sometimes some formulas will have some constants values also with that. You should know that values. And we will also try to provide at maximum stages that the value of constant values also. So accordingly, to prepare MCQ, you need to do practice with respect to our previously given question papers. I will provide in my link some of the previously posted objective questions also. You can have practice on that. You can go through that. And make sure that you are learning all the key points and summary points from each of the chapter. Every formula is important. And you should know how to apply that formula to the given context. Make sure that you practice a bit more on this and this is the place where students score less marks or students lose more marks. Because we don't have much practice. This, this can be scored only by doing a lot of practice. <coughs> That's the only thing what I can tell you. You have to do more and more number of things. Maybe in your respective classes your faculty would have given some kind of <coughs> uh, uh, assignment questions. From different books and all you may have some other books also with you you can refer any other books also try to solve the summary formulas as much as you can from any other uh, reference books whatever you choose that's it that's the only thing but <coughs> whether you are practicing more number of problems or not is secondary if you practice it becomes easier in the exam but make sure that you know all the formulas from each of the chapter you should definitely know all the formulas from each of the chapter out of 30 marks MCQ questions, not that all 30 would be problems. A student will face problem with a problem. Whenever a problem comes, because of lack of practice, we get some kind of sharing. I can tell you, um, we will not give you 100% or 30, 30 by 30 would be the problems in that. 30 by 30, out of 30, maybe five, uh, some kind of theory question will also be there. Maybe some kind of application question may also be there. You should think, you should think logically on how to apply that one. So if you take out that file, 25 the numerical problems, what you have to focus on. Or not even 25, I can tell you it may be 20 also. Accordingly, like in between 10 to, I mean up to 20 you may find numerical problems, but up to 10 you may find some kind of applications or some kind of uh, uh, theoretical questions based on the concepts. You can guess all this one. Accordingly, MCQ will, can be made only easy by knowing all these things and having more practice. How much you are scoring in that 30 purely depends upon how much familiar you are with this and how much you are able to practice. The more you the, uh, uh, practice is the one what gives you more marks in this. No other way of scoring marks in MCQ. Practice of what? Practice either the previously given question papers or any one reference book like H.C. Varma or any other book. You can refer one particular book, University of Physics, any, any particular book and Check out how much you can do. Spend some time on that. You'll get it. And easily out of when, when it comes to descriptive, it is actually easy. Like uh, not that difficult to score marks in descriptive. There are six questions. For sure, each of the six questions would be of either two parts A, B or A, B, C. Two parts or three parts. But all that two parts or three parts will give you 10 marks. And we since we have equal weightage for all the chapters, you can assume that each of the chapters would be given equal proportions in this proportions or you can say that each of this chapter give you minimum of two questions and a maximum of three questions for 10 marks only this is maybe for 10 marks this may be for 10 marks accordingly we may increase some number may decrease some number some because uh, there are seven and a half chapters you have to make six questions some chapters can be combined some small chapters can be combined but most of the time one chapter would be given two parts or three parts from the, I mean 10 marks from the same chapter. It's not that we give one part from this, one part from this, one part for this 10 marks. One part like that mixing up of questions would not be there generally. And at times like in this like I can tell you since this is only half of the chapter you may not get two parts from this. Even this is small chapter you may get two, two parts from that. Accordingly some small chapters can be marked up to give you one 10 mark. But remaining all the chapters, this chapter, all these chapters will give you A plus B plus C or A plus B two parts or three parts, mostly all the chapters will give you 10 marks each. And how to get, if let us suppose that 
because three parts is also again lengthy most of the chances will get two parts only whatever it is let us take it for that two parts only. divide every chapter into two equal parts first part and sec first half and second half check out what is the most important question from that first primary important question second primary important question or second part primary important question second important question first learn those important questions because for every chapter you'll have some kind of uh, important things so everyone whenever faculty teachers they stress on some parts this is most important this is good this is needed and all accordingly you should divide each of this chapter into two equal parts and make sure that out of those two parts you are learning the important parts first and once time is permitting you you can go ahead with the remaining parts also because you have 50 percent of choice almost you can now learn uh, any in all the chapters in a thorough manner and whatever comes best to you you can learn that some some chapters may be small in this some some are big in this some take some take more time some take less time accordingly make sure which is easy for you complete that chapter thoroughly then go for the other chapter only way of learning mcq question is that make each chapter dividing into two equal parts first half and second half okay check out primary and secondary important questions from that first half again check out check out primary and secondary questions from the second part and check out whether you are knowing these answers or not learn those answers if you don't know once you get those answers once you are thorough enough with that answers then go ahead with the remaining part in that way by focusing on all these chapters you can score easy because uh, in one chapter questions may not be given from the important part or unexpected questions it's not that the case with all other chapters see that's what you should learn all the chapters don't skip don't make don't prepare in a way that because only these three chapters are easy i'll prepare this i'll leave these chapters or any chapters what you feel is easy if you don't have time you may, may think that you can skip it and all but if you learn like that if, if at all you are not getting the expected question from that then you will again fall into troubles make sure that you learn all the important questions from all the chapters maximum you will find two questions or at a max three questions from each chapter primarily if you complete this part primarily i am sure that uh, writing three answers from this is not difficult if you leave two chapters if you leave three chapters and if you get some questions from those chapters with unexpected questions then again you may not be able to score 30 in this from my point of view scoring 30 in descriptive should not be a difficult if you follow this condition that that you should learn all the chapters primary important questions and secondary important questions at the max from each chapter you may get two or three questions or from each of this chapter, if you are familiar with the most important two or three questions from each of this chapter, how many chapters are there? Seven. Two means 14. Three means 21. <coughs> 21 to 17. Let us suppose like some round figure, 20 questions. I mean, for if you can make out those 20 questions from all these chapters, if you are preparing with that, no matter what all the complications they make in the question paper, complications can be made only from one or two of the chapters, not all the six questions. So if even if it goes like that, you can score in the other chapters what direct questions. For sure, three questions would be there in a direct manner only from three of the chapters. But we don't know which chapter exactly giving you three that questions. Right? right? So accordingly, make sure that you follow this. Don't leave any chapter in terms of descriptive part. Learn all the primary important questions from that chapter. Out of seven and a half chapters maximum you may get 20 questions as the important questions i'm sure if you are good enough with that 20 questions if you are able to reproduce that 20 questions in the exam you can score 20 to 25 minimum 20 to 25 minimum and remaining five again based on some kind of important formulas problems and all every question will have a part with that in the form of problem five theory five problem five theory five problem it goes or sometimes it may be four plus four plus two if it is three parts or three plus three plus six sorry three plus three plus four it all depends five plus three plus two any any question can be given like that but only the way no matter how many marks the question is make sure that for all these chapters you are learning the important questions first once the time permits you can go ahead with the next part hope i'm clear with this so along with this part what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload 
the deleted syllabus document previous important questions previous mcq important questions from the previous exams of rjkt and thirdly some of the important questions what i'm stressing like which important question from what chapter if you are unaware of that you can i'll send some documents chapter wise important questions primary and secondary important questions and make sure that these are not the one what you can expect in the exam these are the primary questions what you are supposed to learn from this once you are completing this primary part you can go ahead with the other part no sir like we know how to prepare we'll do our own works and all there is nothing wrong in that you can make your own preparation no need to follow all these things also. this video is meant only for those who feel that they are lost with like some of you might have missed some class in the middle some some kind of might have gone some kind of students would there who are not doing any work right from the beginning they may feel that it is a bit high task or huge task to do this exam pattern and all so i just to make sure that for, for such kind of students i want to give some kind of an input so that it can become a bit easier than what they expect i am telling you once again i am posting some of the important questions from chapter wise those are the primary questions which are meant only for the loss of students who feel that they are not able to learn not, not any anything and it is not 100% assurance that only those questions will come in the exam those are the questions what primarily a student should know from all these chapters i'm sure if you if you know that that part only scoring 20 marks out of 30 is not a difficult part what all the 20 questions or 30 questions i'm giving now 20 questions you will by that 20 scoring 30 in this descriptive is for sure and remaining part depends on your luck and your hard work Hopefully, I am clear with this. I will be providing all the needed links in the videos, the, the, in this video. So, check with that. All the best for your exam. I wish all of you to get familiar. Uh, all of you to be well acquainted with physics. And don't think that physics is the tough subject. In fact, it is the easiest subject of all. Once you little focus is what we expect from the students. Thank you one and all. Have a good day. See you soon.